software for creating and displaying multimedia, presentation software. Now, presentation software is used to create multimedia that is intended to be displayed to an audience and support a speaker. So, when we talk about presentation software, we're talking about the following types of apps, Microsoft PowerPoint, Apple Keynote, as well as Google Slides. Okay, so three different platforms, all three used on different types of systems. And essentially, as we said here, they're used for developing presentations made of slides that we intend on presenting to groups of people. Okay, I'm sure that you've, you've used presentation software before. You might have been giving a speech, presenting information to your classes. Okay, this is the type of software we go to here. So essentially, these are the following characteristics of presentation software. Firstly, and the one I'm sure you're aware of is slides. Okay, and with slides, you get to work with a variety of design templates, and I've got a whole bunch that you can see here. They're all straight from Microsoft PowerPoint. They are the actual templates. And then what you can do is edit master slides. And when you edit a master slide, so you change a color or a font on the master slide, it changes that same area on all the other slides. So you can see I've highlighted here, the master slide is extremely important because what you did to the master slide applies to all the other slides in your presentation. So it's a quick way of updating all your fonts or all your colors at once on every slide just by editing it on the master slide. You can also reorder your slides and sequence them in specific orders. Through using hyperlinks as well, you can actually make it so that it's not a linear presentation. You can click on buttons in the hyperlinks or hypertext and it'll take you to specific slides that you've assigned for your presentation. You can apply timings to presentation so you stay on certain slides for a certain amount of time. You can make transitions appear between slides so when you click it will have like one slide wipe over the other slide or it might do a little animation as it changes between slides. Okay and then with that we can also add effects as well. And then obviously adding contents to the slide which are our media which we'll get to in a second. And as well record your voice over a slide so it can be watched by someone as opposed to you presenting it. Moving on from here then is we can print off the slides and this is extremely important especially for those of you who are at university or going to university next year your lecturer will be posting their um, PowerPoints online and you'll want to be getting a printout but obviously you don't want to print out of every individual slide on its own sheet of paper it's a big waste of paper and presentations aren't made in that format presentations are meant to have pictures and colors and all that on them so there usually isn't too much text per slide. So as you can see here from the images that I've got, you can print multiple slides per handout. So you can do six, nine, whatever, in a portrait and landscape mode. You can also make that the slides actually print on the left-hand side, and then there's lines on the right-hand side so that you can write in your notes. So there's a whole variety of formats there for actually printing off the actual slides from the actual presentation. Next, of course, is media, okay? And we are talking about this as a unit of multimedia. And we can incorporate all the types of media into actually a PowerPoint presentation. Now, as I said here, it can display text, images, audio, video, and animations, as well as embed other objects from other um, Office Suite products. So if I am talking about Microsoft PowerPoint, I can put in an actual chart from Microsoft Excel. Now you can see here that I've actually highlighted animations. Okay, whereas we're talking with all the other types of importing the actual media into our actual presentation, animation is slightly different because we can actually create animations within the presentation software. Okay, and that is actually how I make all my presentations, all these videos that I'm making for you, is through actual presentation software because it has its own animation tools that allow you to make objects come in in a variety of ways. Okay, and um, really that's one of the big highlights of it, of making the presentation interesting, is that we can have these animations that kind of bring the presentation to life. Okay, and obviously there's many more things you can do with presentation software as well. Import and export data, work with a variety of views, and make macros that can automate presentation functions. Okay, presentation software is extremely powerful software that allows you to do a whole variety of things. So don't just think of it as that software that allows you to make colorful presentations to presenting to an audience, because it does go much deeper deeper than that. Okay, obviously the slides mechanic and that use of the master slide allowing you to edit hundreds of slides at once depending on how big your presentation is, the templates and all the different colors available. Okay, you can print them off obviously if you want to have a bit of a summary of the PowerPoint presentation and you can incorporate all media into it to make your presentations as interesting as possible. So I hope this video has helped you understand the power of presentation software.